we're going to hear from Dai Su Yu, uh, who's talking about from numeral systems to see the phylogenetic relationship of deux gens Tibetan. Is that work? Okay. Okay. Um, there are thousands of languages in the world. How can we know which are older and which are younger? Today, I would like to share how to use comparative methods to uh, draw a small family tree for Zhedong Tibetan languages. Zhedong is a distinct Tibetic language spoken in Tibetan which is in western China. Countries belonging to Tibetan are distributed along this yellow line on the map. Uh, well, we can uh, label them into different colors. Zhedong is the red one. These three languages can establish some correspondences with Old Tibetan from number 1 to 19. And there are also a lot of basic work that can establish some correspondence. So we have the evidence to prove that they are cognate languages. The numeral system of blue one is the same as old Tibetan. Well, they both use decimal system. Zhedong uses decimal and vagisimal systems alternately. For instance, the 10 is called 10 ho. 11 to 19 are shown as 10 with a single digit, like 15 is 10 and 5. 20 is another basic unit. The, if the 10 whole integers are more than 20, it will be shown as 20 together with 10. For example, 30 is 20 and 10, 40 is two 20s, and so on. Green one can both use the blue type and the red type. Um, so, uh, we, we can um, establish the uh, sound correspondence uh, with old Tibetan, uh, both, the, uh, both uh, more than 20 and less than 20. Um, well, the blue one can only, uh, well, the red one can only establish the, song, the correspondence less than 20. For the correspondence, we can draw a conclusion that Zhedong diverged from Old Tibetan earlier than the blue one. For this reason, Zhedong keeps more archaic features and some more innovations that deserve more attention in linguistic research. Now we have the um, well, we we have already recovered their uh, historical relationship by just looking at the synchronic languages. This is the magic of historical linguistics. Thank you.